No, I think you're so right. I remember when there was an outbreak in California in 2014, 2015, it was a measles outbreak started there, spread to about 25 states, involved 300 people. I think there was one death in the country. But um, what was interesting was the, there was a state senator named Richard Pan, who was a pediatrician by training, who stood up and wanted to eliminate the uh, philosophical exemption from vaccinations in a state, California, that didn't have a religious exemption. So therefore, you would only be left with medical exemptions. Mm -hmm. um, and so the only way to get around that would be either to homeschool or to get a doctor to lie about whether there's a medical exemption. So the anti-vaccine people were there in force, you know, against this. Because nothing upsets them more than taking away their right to exempt themselves from vaccination. And there was a little boy, a little seven-year-old, whose name was Luke Crowett. And you can see him on video now on YouTube, but he, he's, he was little. So they had to sort of put him up on a stool so he could reach the microphone. And he said, um, he told his story. He said, my name is Luke. I have leukemia. Um, I can't be vaccinated. I depend on you to protect me. He's looking right at the, the, the anti-vaccine activist when he says that. And then he said, don't I count? And that, that should be the theme here. Don't they count? Don't people, the millions of people in this country who can't be vaccinated, who depend on those around them to protect them, don't they count? And I think the medical freedom movement basically says, no, you don't count.